lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7, are we on 7? I'm actually kind of losing count, but welcome back to the flat makeover. Things are starting to get a little more serious now, I really want to try and like make some moves over the next few weeks towards actually moving in, because honestly we could just keep finding things to do and I could move in in another three months that could honestly happen so i think it's really about like finding the things that i need to actually live here like have a carpet have wardrobes that kind of stuff and then all of the other little bits maybe we can do once i'm actually living here so now because obviously most of the major decorating is done that kind of involves me just like looking for furniture online and ordering stuff which isn't that exciting for you guys to watch but there are some major things going on over the next couple of weeks that are very, very exciting. I've just got a couple of small jobs today, which I will show you now. So the first thing for today is I ordered this absolutely fabulous ceiling rose for my bedroom, my French inspired bedroom, um, from this website called plasterceilingroses.com. They had the most incredible choice. Like literally it took me about two weeks to decide because there were so many that I loved, but it's really, really beautiful. It's oversized. Um, let me just unwrap it. <laughs> I think I'll go fly into the sky. Give the moon a smooch. He's my kind of guy. So here is the ceiling rose in all its glory. It's so beautiful. It just has so much gorgeous detail. We have the egg and dart, floral, and a lovely center as well. I just love it and it's quite oversized as well so I feel like it's going to really make a statement in my bedroom and I'm so excited and um, before it can go up it does have to be painted so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to paint it in a white emulsion and um, it kind of just gives it a more finished look because this is just plaster so although it's white um, it can look sort of like unfinished and bare and the paint just makes it look really lovely and gorgeous. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Also guys, I just had to tell you this. I had the most beautiful sunflower delivery today from DFS. They sent me a really gorgeous little note basically saying thank you for ordering the sofa from them and for the lovely words in my vlog. And honestly guys, like I didn't have any kind of partnership or discount from DFS. I was just an ordinary customer um, and ordered the sofa and they saw my vlog somehow and sent me such a gorgeous bunch of flowers to say thank you. So yeah, big lovely thank you to DFS, the sofa's amazing. I didn't need flowers to say thank you because I love the sofa so much already, but how lovely is that? Oh my god, that made my day. So another job for today and also a little update for you guys, I have a table and chairs. So I actually got these from eBay. I paid £110 for the table and the chairs, which is by far the cheapest thing I have bought in this entire process. So I was absolutely thrilled and I didn't actually intend on getting a second hand one, um, but I just couldn't find a really lovely, like traditional looking small breakfast table. Um, I just couldn't find one that I liked. And then my mum actually found this on eBay. JJ and I actually had to drive to Stoke <laughs> to pick it up which is a three hour drive for us and it almost didn't fit in the car and I was literally having a panic attack, it was so scary. But we got it back here and it's so, so gorgeous. I just love the top. It actually came from a couple who had a lovely little like shabby chic tea room and unfortunately they went bust during COVID which is so heartbreaking and they were selling all of their lovely furniture. So whilst I'm painting the ceiling rose, my mum is going to start rubbing down all of this grey paint because we're going to paint it cream, of course, to go with the rest of the kitchen. Um, so yeah, that is another job for today. And then hopefully tomorrow I can paint it. Lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child I live in wonderland. All my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down Now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like a prisoner when his sentence ends All my dreams are coming true So guys, I just started painting my ceiling rose white and it occurred to me that maybe it would look fantastic in pink 
and then it would contrast against the ceiling it would really stand out the same really 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 pale pink that i used on the walls so i think i'm gonna paint it in pink <laughs> <laughs> and see what I think. You can always paint over it, um, but I think it will just make it, it'll make it stand out even more. So I think I'm gonna give it a go. I think I'll go fly into the sky. Give the moon a smooch, he's my kind of guy. Maybe I'll even give Saturn a try. If he offers his ring with that look in his eye. Excuse me if I'm silly. Good morning everyone, I have my table and chairs, they've been sanded down and they're all ready to paint. I've just washed them as well because they were so dusty, like they were painted in this chalk, like chalky furniture paint and it made such a mess when my mum was um, sanding them down but they're all done, they're all ready to go. Um, so yeah, I've got my paint mixed over there, the lovely fine cream colour and I'm really excited, I think it's going to make them look so lovely. Good morning guys, so today is a very exciting day. I'm having something installed in here that's been in the works since I think October is when I first contacted them. Um, and it's totally my fault that it's taken this long because obviously we never realized the flat would take this long. And it's kind of like a finishing touch thing that's going in today. And I just can't wait to show you. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until it's in. I think you're going to be surprised if I think you guys are going to go absolutely crazy for it. We're also going to go to Ikea today, which should be interesting because I've actually only ever been to Ikea once, I think, when I was like 10 or something. So I'm really not familiar with Ikea and I know everybody loves it. It's not really my thing, I don't think, but then I don't know, I've never been, but there's a couple of things I need to get, um, which I'll show you. Um, but yeah, today is a very exciting day. Every day just feels like I'm getting a little bit closer to actually moving in. And
So guys, as you can see, I now have this beautiful, beautiful overmantel mirror in my lounge. It looks absolutely incredible. Honestly, how beautiful does that look? It looks like it was literally made for this fireplace, but it's not all that it seems. <laughs> it is, in fact, <gasps> a TV. <laughs> Can you actually <laughs> believe this? It's unbelievable. Guys, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it. It's incredible. <laughs> oh my god. This is my view. This is my view right now. <laughs> so this is an absolutely spectacular mirror TV from a company called Frame Your TV who basically do anything you can dream of, any style, frame, any mirror, you can have artwork, you can have it in your bathroom behind glass, they can literally do anything and I desperately, desperately wanted one of these. Literally as soon as I knew I was getting the flat, I was looking up mirror TVs because I knew that I was going to have a beautiful living room and TVs really, really bug me. I just think they look so ugly on the wall or on a stand um, and I was just desperate to have this and it's even better than I imagined it would be. It's so beautiful, like even just the frame itself it's so stunning. This is all gold leaf as well. Um, it's just gorgeous. It looks perfect in the room. Um, and yeah, it's a TV, so I don't have any ugly big black square ruining my wall. And then when you turn it off, it's literally just a mirror and you would never know that it was a TV. So honestly, guys, I just can't believe this. I'm absolutely in awe. Um, and I just think this is the coolest, coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen anybody else with one of these. Um, and I'm just, I'm just lost for words. It's absolutely amazing. So the weather is so glorious today, it's so hot that I've actually changed into a different painting outfit. Can you believe it? I'm wearing this oversized tee with cycling shorts. I know. Today I want to try and finish off all of the paintwork in the hall landing area. I've done most of it, but there's just bits and bobs that I missed out um, last time, like I haven't done the ceiling. A couple of the doors need a second coat um, and the colour on the bottom of the dado rail needs a second coat too. My mum is thankfully coming to help me a bit later. She's found time in her busy social schedule to come and help me. I need to do a second coat of the darker colour beneath the dado rail. I've done those two bits already, but I need to do all down the stairs. Um, also, a few of the doors need a second coat of white paint. Um, I also need to do the ceiling, which I am completely dreading, especially here. I don't know if you can see these two patches, um, but that's where we took out the down lights and put the actual proper ceiling light in. So it's been replastered. So it really needs to be painted over, which means that I basically need to do the whole ceiling, which is incredibly annoying. In other very, very exciting news, tomorrow is finally the day that Hammonds are coming to fit my wardrobes. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this for such a long time um, and I feel like this is gonna be the thing that really gets me closer to actually moving in. So we've cleared out the whole room. My dad's taken up the carpet. This is where he was keeping all of the tools as well. This was like the storage room um, and now there's nothing in here, which is really exciting. Um, so it's gonna take Hammonds, I think three and a half days of work to fit everything. So I will keep you updated, but that's starting tomorrow and I'm just so, so happy. Um, finally gonna see just pink and not pink and gray because everything will be in. And then hopefully in a couple of weeks, I'll have a carpet as well. And in other very exciting news, the ceiling rose is up. Oh my God, this was such a drama. I couldn't even film me and my dad doing this because it was that stressful. 
getting this ceiling rose on the ceiling because it was so heavy. Um, but we managed it and it looks absolutely spectacular. I wish it was a little bit brighter in here, but it's always quite dark in this room um, at this time of day. But doesn't it just look superior? I mean, just incredible. I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop looking at it. And I just can't wait to get a fabulous chandelier hanging down from it. It's also time to sort out all of the paints. I thought it'd be fun to just collect all the tins and not throw any away and then we could see how much um, I'd used. So yeah, I don't think you guys need any more footage of me painting this hall, to be quite honest. So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh, guys, just wait. It's like the old days of the flat. <laughs> oh my God. I did not expect there to be this much stuff. I can't believe it. My installer said that he had over 800 kilos in his van just for my wardrobes. I didn't even think they were big. So my Hammonds installer has been hard at work today um, and I will show you his progress. He said that the first day is always the slowest because he's kind of just like cutting everything up um, and getting everything sorted and like unloading everything. I mean, it took him like obviously over an hour to just unload all of this and bring it up into the flat. Um, so yeah, this is what we have today in the dressing room. So here is my little drawer unit that's gonna go um, inside the wardrobe. I haven't even really looked inside. I don't really want to mess with it yet. I think this is the back end. And then here we have the making of my double wardrobe. Oh my gosh, it's getting exciting now. I love the wood interior. I'm actually really pleased with um, with this because I was worried that when we built forward, because this is really deep, that it would just take all of the space away from the room. And although like, obviously it's a small room, I feel like this doesn't take up too much of the space. Um, I'm really pleased at how far it's come out. So yeah, not much progress to show you today. Um, I've been doing nothing film worthy today. I've literally just been sorting out all of the cupboards and all of the stuff that's just been like hanging around the flat that I don't really need anymore. I've just been going through and like purging the flat today, um, which is something boring that I just really needed to do. But yes, it's going really well and I'll give you guys another update tomorrow. Hey guys, so my installer from Hammond's just left for the day. I've been out shooting today, so I haven't seen anything that he's done. Um, so I'm gonna go in and have a look now with you guys. Okay, so the bedroom is, I'd say, significantly emptier do you think than it was yesterday i still cannot believe how much stuff there is like thank goodness this bedroom was empty so let's go in the drawers aren't there anymore <gasps> Woo! oh my gosh we have a wardrobe almost <laughs> let's check out the drawers i think this top one should be <gasps> yes it's one of those organizational drawers um, that lots of people have and I'm always really envious because they're so handy to put those things that are kind of hard to find a place for like belts and sunglasses and that kind of stuff maybe even some jewelry hair stuff um, so I'm really happy about that and then I've got two other drawers here if I wanted something completely different to what I have at home um, and yeah it's gonna look so beautiful I can't wait for you guys to see the rest Hey guys, it's the next day. I haven't been here all day. I've been at home filming. Um, so I don't know what he's done. It's the third day. Um, so let's go and have a look. Okay, let's turn the light on and have a look. <gasps> okay, so this is a big development. And if he started this, then I'm hoping that means... <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This has totally taken me aback. Obviously, I knew what it was going to look like. Like, I knew the plan, but I could not envision it in here at all. It was so difficult to imagine. Wow. Oh my gosh. So, I went for the Langton range, which is one of the, like, more classic designs that Hammonds do. And if you get the Langton range, you can get these amazing um, mirrors. I cannot believe it. Look at it. It's all so completely built in that it looks like it was always made like that i just can't believe it and look at the gorgeous like coving at the top i was kind of worried that it would 
not look pretty if that makes sense but it looks so pretty and look at the bookshelves so that's where i'm gonna put like my shoes and bags on display oh my god it's incredible let's have a look inside the gold handles so this should all be done now wowee so we've got these sensor lights and then this rail with shelves at the back to make the most of all the space and then you've got the drawers as well Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And then he's also started on the little shelving unit on this side. Um, as you guys know, we had this awkward piece of like wall um, that literally made no sense. So just to kind of maximize um, the space, we decided to build a shelving unit on top of here that still left me um, room to use the cupboard up there and then over here is the um like open shelving unit basically that's going to have the shoe rack so now actually all of the structure is in place this is the first time that i've got a real feel of how much space there's actually going to be left in here to like walk and i'm actually pleasantly surprised there's a lot more floor space than i thought there'd be and it doesn't feel at all cramped in which i was kind of worried about oh my gosh i'm so so thrilled um i just can't wait for it to be finished so it is day three of Hammond's and my walk-in wardrobe being built. Oh my God, guys, look at the state of this carpet. Can you believe it? Like, oh my God, thank goodness we're getting rid of it. Oh, and also I have Wi-Fi. How exciting. We're in business. So let's have a look at what's been done today. So as you can see, my little open unit has been built. Um, it's not completely finished yet. He still needs to um, kind of like box it in at the back, um, but it's so, so nice. Look at the shoe racks. They're so cool. And what I love most about this is all of the like skirting and the gorgeous cornices. It just keeps in with that really traditional style that I love and I feel like sometimes walk-in wardrobes or like built-in wardrobes can just have a very modern feel which is what I really didn't want um, so I'm so happy with how this looks and I just feel like once it's got a lovely um, selection of clothes on there and some lovely shoes it's going to be so nice to open the door and see this and then as you saw yesterday we have the gorgeous double wardrobe and then oh, do you know what? I can't even remember if this was here yesterday I'm so tired today I think this was here yesterday um but it's just looking a little bit more finished so now uh he's added the skirting which just looks fantastic like oh my god it's just seamless it's literally perfect like it looks like it was just always that way um and then tomorrow i suppose he's going to finish this off um and he will also add a really nice cornice on the top as well so everything looks beautiful and perfect and i'm just getting so so excited and i just can't wait for tomorrow when everything's done. Hello again, everyone. I feel like I'm talking so much more in this vlog compared to all the others. Today, I am finally getting around to making a decision on carpet. I feel like the carpet really is the missing piece of the puzzle in the flat that's gonna like really complete it. Um, and I've been so indecisive and I've kept on pushing it back and back and back because I found it so hard to make a decision. Um, but today I'm gonna actually go to the Crucial Trading showroom. So my floor fitter who's done like all of my floors and all the other rooms um, really recommends crucial trading to me um so i'm gonna go have a look at the carpets they have um, and hopefully hopefully decide on one i've had a lot of comments and messages from people wondering why i'm having carpets and asking me if it's like a uk thing and i honestly don't know like to me it's just completely normal like every house that i know has carpet in and uh, maybe it's because the uk is cold like most of the time um and carpets are just cozier like i would definitely not want a wood floor in every single room definitely not in my bedroom i think it's all right for a couple of the rooms but i would not want um hard floors all around the flat because it would be so so cold so that's why i'm having carpet um and yeah i've just heard really good things about crucial trading and they've got some really beautiful wool carpet options which is what i want to go for but before we go i'm going to give you the final tour and reveal of the dressing room because it's all finished now and i'm just so so delighted so the first thing you see when you walk in is of course the open unit and I think it's going to look so lovely and I really wanted this because I feel like when I imagine a walk-in wardrobe this is what I see those open hanging shelves you can actually see the clothes see the shoes um, and it's not all behind behind doors so I really wanted this and it really is like the perfect size um yeah it looks absolutely incredible just all of the small details like that coving 
the lovely skirting. Um, it's just really like those details that make such a huge difference to me and I really love the colour of the wood. Like I just think it looks so elegant and classic and it just complements everything so well. Like the colour of the outside and also the drawers, it all just all just looks so nice together and then of course as you've seen over here we have the beautiful double wardrobe i just think it looks spectacular every time i come in i'm just like oh my god and contrary to like the reason why i wanted the open shelving here i really thought on this side it should be mirrors because it just helps open up the room a little bit more um because obviously we've taken out quite a bit of the um floor space by doing all of this and i do think having the mirrors here helps just like elongate the room a tiny bit and make it feel less small so i'm really really so happy with these and again it's just all of these details like i cannot believe the man that did this like my dad is a trained carpenter or joiner as i think i've told you guys before and even my dad was like in awe of the hammonds fitter he said he's literally a genius and then the new bit that i think you haven't seen finished is this shelving unit which i just think looks lovely and it's a really clever use of the space as well because we had this weird bit of wall that just kind of came out and stuck up which must have something to do with one of the other flats um stairs or something so now it kind of makes sense um, and I've still got the use of that massive storage cupboard which I've actually put three of my suitcases in which I'm really impressed with but anyway I just love this like look at this detail it's so so gorgeous and even on the sides um you've got like those lovely panels here as well um just to make it look more decorative and I just I just love it so so much I'm so impressed I'm also like I said before really happy with the amount of space that's sort of left over so i just want to show you guys sort of how much room there is so this is the door um so when you come in through the door you come in here <laughs> and so yeah so you've just got like this space here and then you can walk forward and go to this side to the wardrobe this side to the window and there's just space to like move around get changed there's room for a nice stool you can spin around look in the mirror check out the outfit so i'm just really pleased with how much space there is because um i feel like a walk-in wardrobe or a dressing room shouldn't be too big because you kind of want it to feel sort of enclosed and cozy but at the same time you don't want it to be like super cramped and like claustrophobic and you know boxed in and it just doesn't feel like that at all i'm so so happy with the amount of space that's left and i just think it's incredible i just need to pop a few like pictures on the wall get a lovely um light fitting and i think once the carpet's in here i'm just going to freak out but guys honestly on the whole i am just so so happy with how this has turned out it's better than i could have ever imagined honestly and I'm just so excited to fill it with all of my lovely things. <laughs> so now it's time for me to go and choose a carpet. I'm actually very excited. <laughs> So guys, I'm in the Crucial Trading showroom and it's amazing because they've got a lot of samples for me to look at. I ordered a few online but I could only get five so it's actually really helpful to come and see everything in real life. Um, and there's so much to choose from, I don't know how I'm actually going to choose. So here are all the samples on the wall. Um, I'm obviously going to be looking for a sort of creamy white carpet like one of these and i decided that i wanted a real beautiful wool carpet because they're just so classic and i've got them at home and i just i just love wool carpet there are so many benefits to it and um, they're actually fire resistant up into 700 degrees so they're actually very safe to have in your home and um, they also are quite cool in the summer and warm in the winter so there's like a million reasons to go for wool and above all i just think they look so elegant and classic um so yeah i need to have a look through the samples and pick out some that i like <laughs>
so I've picked out some options. They're all so beautiful and they're just so similar yet so completely different. It's so hard to try and make a decision. Um, so I think my favorites are between this one, which is the Rustica. And I love how chunky the loop is on the wall. Um, that's what I was really sort of looking for. Um, and it's perfect. I'm just worried that the color might be slightly a bit dark and a bit beigey for what I'm going for, but I really love the actual carpet itself. It's beautiful. And then there's this one, which is pearl. I don't know what the color of this is. Pearl in white cotton. And this is really lovely. This is actually nice and white, um, which would be great. The color's perfect. And I do actually really like the weave as well. It's quite unusual. Um, then we have this one, which is buttercup in white linen. And I really love this. Again, I love the loop and the weave of this, but I'm worried that it might have a slight yellow tinge um, because the walls in the hall especially are very, are quite cool toned. So I'm worried that this is gonna come across a little bit yellow, but I need to take a couple of the samples home um, and see what it actually looks like in the room. And then I think what I'm sort of leaning towards, the favorite, definitely color wise, is this, which is actually a new carpet. It's the Morella in Moon Shimmer, which just sounds lovely. And this is a very pure, like white. And it's because most of these are New Zealand wool. And New Zealand wool is actually whiter than a lot of other wools because it has a higher luster. So it just means you can get these really beautiful, like clean, bright light shades. Um, which is perfect and exactly what I'm looking for. So this is a very strong contender. And then this one, I can't remember what this one's called, uh, Biscayne and Mascarpone. I really love the color of this, but I think the weave is just a little bit too small and it's not spongy either. So although it does look really beautiful, I think I'm definitely leaning towards more, more of these ones. <laughs> We've also just popped them on the floor to kind of catch them in a different light. Um, and it's still looking like the Morella in the um, moon shimmer to me because it kind of looks the whitest and the most neutral, but also the pearls looking pretty good too. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Hi everyone, so it's the final day of this episode and on the agenda for today is me and my mum are going to re-clean this kitchen. I don't know if you guys remember, but like three months ago we deep cleaned this kitchen. Um, but since then so much more like building stuff has happened and it's just got really dirty again. So we're gonna clean this kitchen today and we're actually gonna start to like fill the cupboards with all the things that I bought, all the plates and the glasses um, and put the table and chairs in. I've also got a mirror coming. I'm hoping it's gonna to arrive today and hopefully we can get that on the wall and actually start to make this kitchen feel like a livable kitchen in a home that I can live in. <laughs> Meanwhile, JJ is lending a hand. He's, um, well, what are you doing? I'm just putting together the drawers to go in, as taught by Phil. The master. The master. <laughs> Are you the apprentice? Well, Phil's done it in like five minutes and it's taken me <laughs> half an hour to get it to the same point. He's more of a boss at it, but he taught me the ways. So if anyone was wondering what we did actually buy at Ikea um, the other day, I basically was freaking out that I didn't have enough drawer space in the flat. There's loads of cupboards, but nowhere to put like a chest of drawers. So we got the Ikea um, Malm drawers um, because the width was basically perfect to go in the wardrobes. So I got a four drawer for this one and then a three drawer for this one. So I have a little bit more hanging space. Um, but yeah, so we're putting them up now and I feel much more at ease now. I've got drawer space, but mm. yeah, JJ's not doing badly at all. Yeah, that's not bad considering I have a father that like has no interest in this. He'd <laughs> launch it like my <laughs> interested, my It's not in your DNA, it. is it? My father's very impatient. <laughs> My father's very impatient. When you are feeling close to me and you tell me
You're thinking about me now More, more than ever before Well, that's when I feel all can be right in the world When you tell me what's in your heart your way through It seems you may have grown a custom to seeing the real you and I like it too I believe the truth sets our hearts Thank you. 